Okay, so here we are, Eating Your Feed, where I've been challenged by Adam, the person behind the camera, to make hand-pulled noodles, something I've never made before. In the off-season, I said, hey Adam, wouldn't it be cool to make these noodles? Completely forgot about it, then he brought it back on me, and I was like, that looks so hard, I regret ever saying hand-pulled noodles. We're going to do this one made by this guy, Peter Song, from Kung Fu Kitchen in New York City. It's kind of like spinning together, like if you ever had, were on a swing set as a kid and like wrapped it up, and then you sit on it and spin around a lot until you get close to throwing up. Like once it's been kneaded, he's just like, watch out. The noodle is pulled and then doubled over and pulled again until he has noodle-sized noodles. This is like the closest that cooking gets to magic for me. It's a very simple dough, it looks like. Flour, water. He's using a bread flour with a higher gluten content. I think that's gonna be important. To talk through my game plan, I have Chef Extraordinaire Rie. Is that a good setup, Adam? Hey, Rie. Hey. Rie is a tasty producer, always helps us when we're messing up with stuff. So today I'm doing the hand-pulled noodles. What do you think about that? <laughs> Good luck. Yeah. You don't need to must it, right? You, That's true, too. You just have to make it happen. I just need some noodles in a bowl by the end of tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll let you know if I need any help. Bye. Bye. Okay, so I did some measuring and I've got 900 grams of flour, AKA approximately two pounds. I measured it that way, but then Adam made me convert. Science. 20 grams of salt, 450 grams of water. We begin now. ASMR. I'm gonna make a well, which reminds me of my cat because his name is Wellington. He's currently trying his hardest not to lick his... This doesn't seem like it's gonna be enough water, to be honest. I mean, I guess when you think about it, the flower is like, well, it's just white dust, but it started out as hundreds of acres of plants and <laughs> I feel like I need more water. I feel like you should need more water. I know what you're feeling right now, which is when you see someone struggling with something, it's like watching somebody open a jar. That's what this whole show is. I think it's time to let this rest. So this dough already feels a lot smoother. Do I need some flour on this surface? <laughs> Do I need flour on this surface? Oh God, I shouldn't have added that flour. Everything I'm reading says that if you're having a hard time with the elasticity of the dough, it just needs to rest longer. You don't really see it in the reference video. When they do the cut and he comes back with this shiny log of dough, it's because of the oil. Okay, I think I'm gonna try the old snake test on this thing. <laughs> what am I doing? I think the slapping is because the dough is, it, it just wants to return to its original shape. Oh. I broke it. Instead of giving up on this dough, I think I'm just going to add water to it. Why did you let me do this? This is a bad idea. Stretch it again. Adam, screw you. <laughs> so mistakes were made. We found a very useful Cook's Illustrated article, and it turns out I did pretty much every ratio incorrectly. It also seems to be that working with exclusively bread flour, you'll get the best result, but it will be harder to work with. So I feel good. This is like the stuff I should have done before the first time. So we have 900 grams flour, seven grams salt, 540 grams of water, forming a little well. That one I did good. Come back here, water. Okay, water, what are you doing? Why are you thinking when you're kneading? I think, am I doing this right? <laughs> I feel like maybe you should wash your hands. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Cause like your hands are like crustar. Crustar? Crust? Crusty. Crusty. <laughs> oh yeah, you're so much better at this. It looks very smooth now. I think it was, we needed more water. Okay, I think it's time to let that rest. So I'm gonna put that in there. So we've made four batches of dough with different combinations of flour, salt. After it's had a really long time to rest, it should be really good to go. Tomorrow, it's business time. So yesterday we prepared four batches of dough. We're gonna go with the first one I made. It's quite cold. I hope that doesn't screw me over. Oh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> It's not, uh, <laughs> this feels like ABC gum, guys. You know that one? Already been chewed? I'm getting a couple nods from around the room. 
It looks like a little slug. I think I need to let it rest. Hello, Rie. Hi. Got you coffee for everyone. This was actually completely un... Are you just leaving? No, I'm <laughs> closing the door. Do you like it? It's really good. Yeah. Okay, we've let this dough log rest. I'm gonna gently stretch this out. All right, I'm gonna double it over and see how, how this goes. Oh, it's gotten so tight. I, I can't make a noodle from this. It just wants to break. It reaches a tearing point pretty easily. So this one's exactly the same as the last one, but with a different salt. You do that much stretching and then it's like, we're really just burning through our deck here though. AP and bread flour mixture. It's now genuinely at room temp. And look at this. It looks pretty good. <laughs> Let me portion off a little bit and see how far I can get with this. Come over here and try this. This is dough good. Dough fight! Oh. <laughs> oh, you're out. It's the new thing. You know how chokers came back into style? This is a doker. This feels like Britney Spears. What was the video? Toxic? Yep, no. It just doesn't have the elasticity that I think is required for this kind of noodle. We are in California, one of the driest periods we've ever had here. All of our recipes suggest that if it's drier, you're gonna need more water. How much more water? I don't know. I'm gonna do 400 grams of water. We just gotta get to a point where we're making noodles. <laughs> Guys, I thought my kneading days were behind me. At what point do I determine that this is entirely too wet? Can I just pull this into noodles right now? I think I need to add a little bit more flour to this. Come on, a little more. <laughs> <laughs> I need more flour. I call bull on everybody's recipe that ever published a thing about noodles. He was trying to keep the noodles for themselves. I get it, I would do it too. I'm gonna burn this tape when I successfully make noodles. Okay. Having seen how these videos get made, I wanna say cue the heroic music now. <laughs> Okay, 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 okay. I'm gonna cut off a little section like this, okay? And then I'm going to fold this back up. Oh, f No! F I worked so hard kneading that dough. Oh, I reached the tearing point. Okay, let's try another recipe. Okay, we found this recipe utilizing a stand mixer from this guy, Chef Thomas Johnson. Let's just follow his recipe exactly. See if it works. Cake flour, all purpose flour, salt, baking soda. Woo! Okay. Oil, water. Let's whack it up. Going to speed four. This is brown. Is that whole wheat? Yeah. Yeah, that's completely the wrong kind of flour. <laughs> Maybe if I added more water to this, it wouldn't work. <laughs> that was entirely too much water. <laughs> so this was a failed attempt. Yeah, um, that's a wrap on day two. This is gonna require some further research. So far for this video, we've been referencing recipes that utilize high gluten flour to achieve a very pulley dough. I found this guy's website, Luke Rymars. There's like nothing on it but this recipe. But he said use low gluten flour and an alkaline solution to help make a suitably stretchy dough. So I have approximately 150 grams of cake flour going into 25 grams of all-purpose flour, two grams of salt, and one gram of baking soda. Stay out of all that water. Huh? Oh, this is the wrong, sorry. And 110 grams of water. Turn it into a squishy paste, or as we in the industry like to call it, dough. Add the oil at this point, sure, why not? It's quite wet and sticky, very nearly too sticky to work with. The dough should no longer bounce back. But you can see like when I put my fingers into it, it kind of holds its shape, which is what I ultimately wanted to do. But I'm gonna give it a quick little pull test. You ready for this? It's still pretty brittle right here, but it definitely feels way different than any previous batch. Ooh, the dough is getting good. Oy, oy, oy. 
Oh, Rie, welcome. How's it going? I've seen better days. I'm using cake flour for the first time. Yeah? And I needed this for like maybe 40 minutes. 40 minutes? By hand? Yeah. Wow. I just don't have a delicate enough touch to do it yet. I need to practice. Oh, Rie's like delicate touch. Boom, boom. <laughs> So you think cake flour is the answer? This dough feels much nicer to work with than any dough we've had previously. I feel like you should have kneaded a little longer. That's a f noodle, Rie! <laughs> Just leave that there, okay. and then let's work on some other noodles. <laughs> so much rage. I don't know. Oh, hell yeah, baby! Ah. <laughs> Adam, you broke Andrew. <laughs> right? There's one noodle. Okay, that's not a big deal. Okay, I have one super fat one here. This isn't working. Okay, I give up on that. Okay, so that's pretty much the end of day three. And I think I'm at the part where I need to really figure out how to pull them evenly. So tomorrow, same dough recipe, working on the pulling. Hopefully we'll have a bowl of noodles by the end of the day. So I needed it for about 40 to 50 minutes, and now when I touch it, it don't bounce back. Okay, ready? Here we go. That's one thick noodle. Here's two thinner noodles. I mean, that's like more or less, without those breaks, that's basically it, that's noodles. That's noodles. Okay, there's a little bit of noodles right there. If I were good at this, you would just be able to make a portion of noodles out of one pull, but I cannot do it evenly enough. I think it would take years of practice to get that good. So instead, I'm just making like four noodles at a time. We're ready to do the final plating of these noodles. I've got some salted water boiling. My noodles are slumbering under here. I've got herbs to garnish the bowl with. Hello, Rie. How did it go? Not great, but at least the dough worked. I have some noodles here. It's but noodle. I did that with my hands, yeah. you know? Not a machine. Noodles are cooking. Beef broth. Did you season at all? This is handmade, Rie. Don't worry about the broth. If you'd like to see a broth video, leave a comment. I'm straining my noodles. Look at that. That's a ton of noodles I just made. Ooh, hide this thick one. I'm not hiding my shame. Thick noodle goes back in. Watch out, Rie, yeah, it's, it's dangerous. Hot. I run a tight ship over here in Andrew's noodle world. Yeah, that's looking good. Cilantro, more cilantro. Onions, some of these are quite thick. And how about for a splash of color? Boom, a little chili oil. That's good. That's a bowl of noodles. You did it. Sort of. You can see they're very uneven. That's easily the hardest part. It's magic what they do. Are you happy? Yes, because it's over. Yeah. Really? It's very rigid. Adam, you wanna try some? Good. Cake. That's really tasty. Oh yeah. My God. Yeah. Chili <laughs> oil. This was the longest episode. Yet right? so little was accomplished. But you now high respect. Oh yeah. For the master. Very much so. Yeah. This has been eating the hand pulled noodles out of my feed. Oh yes. Mm.